Mini Orange Adaptive Authentication Solution helps restrict the access to Google Workspace while maintaining ease of use. The security levels can be tailored to individual users based on their risk profiles and level of access. Our versatile restriction methods offer control over who can access systems based on IP address, location, device count, or time of access. If you're using our Google Marketplace listed app, Mini Orange makes it easy to enable adaptive authentication. By following this guide, you can upgrade your security and protect your sensitive data like never before. First, you need to install the Mini Orange integration for G Suite from the G Suite Marketplace. The link for this is given in the description below. Once the app is installed for your G Suite account, you can initiate the login from the Apps section. This will open the dedicated Securify Admin dashboard for your admin account, using which you can configure and enable single sign-on as well as restriction for your G Suite users. First of all, you will have to set up branding for your account. Go to the Branding section from the side menu to set up a dedicated branded subdomain for your account in our solution. You can customize the login page by changing the heading, background color, button color, and logo to make it consistent with your company's brand guidelines. In basic settings, set the organization name of your choice. You will get your dedicated service URL based on the organization name you will provide. You can also set button color, background color, and many more from here. In the Logo and Favicon section, you can upload logos and favicons for your branded URL. And from the User Sign-up Field sections, you can manage the required fields that must be filled in the sign-up forms. And then save the settings. Once that is set, the branded login URL would be of this format, if your organization's name is XYZ. Once the branding is set for your organization, you are ready to enable single sign-on and restrictions. Go to the G Soot SSO settings from the side menu. Here you will be able to see the current status of the single sign-on. It will be disabled by default when you create a new account. You can click on the Enable Single Sign-On button to enable SSO for your organization. Once the operation is complete, you will see the SSO status changed to Enabled, which means that the SSO is enabled successfully for your organization. Here from the Network Masks, you can determine which addresses will be affected by Single Sign-On. Upon enabling the Single Sign-On, all of our G Soot users will be redirected to your Zecurify service URL for authentication. Once the SSO is enabled, adaptive authentication can be enabled on top of it to restrict the users based on different factors such as IP, device, location, and time. Go to the Adaptive Authentication option from the side menu. Here you can configure and enable different restrictions. First, IP Restriction Configuration. In this restriction method, the admin sets up a list of IP addresses to allow or deny access when a user tries to log in. Select Action for Behavior Change if the user's IP address is not in the configured list. Specify the IP address range for which you want the above setting to reflect. For each IP range you add, you can choose to either allow or deny it by enabling or disabling the switch button next to it. We support the IP address range in these three formats. You can choose whichever is suitable for you. You can add multiple IPs and IP ranges by clicking on the plus button. Second device restriction configuration. In this restriction method, the admin allows end users to add a fixed number of devices as trusted devices for their account. Here in the input field, enter the number rule of devices you want your end users to register. Select your action if the number of devices registered by users exceeds the allowed limit. You can also enable the option to send email alerts to users if you want to alert the user about num of devices exceeding the limit. Third Location Restriction Configuration In this restriction method, the admin configures a list of locations where we want to allow end users to either log in or deny based on the conditions set by the admin. Here in the Input field, enter the location name. Add the in and around distance for your location. You can click on the plus button to add more than one location. Fourth, Time Restriction Configuration in this restriction method, the admin configures a time zone with start and end times for that time zone, and users are either allowed, denied, or challenged. 
Enter the time difference value in minutes for the fraud prevention check. Select the time zone from the list and enter appropriate values. You can click on the plus button to add more than one time configuration. Fifth, action for behavior change configuration. Here, you can configure one of the three possible actions for our adaptive authentication policy. Select the challenge type option from here. Sixth, notification and alert message configuration. This section handles the notifications and alerts related to adaptive authentication. It provides the following options. The next subsection is send email alerts, allowing you to enable or disable alerts for admin and end users. You can also customize the deny messages from here, then click on the save button. I hope I was able to make you understand how to enable adaptive authentication for Google Marketplace. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comments section, or you can directly connect with us at idpsupport at securify.com.